So, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you to our today discussion, which is organized by Lides Praxe. For today, I am proud to introduce to you a video maker, traveler, journalist, and uh, creator of a well known series Prague vs. Crooks and the Honest Guide, Jane Grubesch. Hello. Thank you. Uh, so before uh, we start some organizational stuff, uh, today's discussion is divided into two parts. So in the first part, Janek uh, will talk about his work and after that there will be a place for your questions. So one uh, choice is to hand up and we will give you a microphone and you can ask the question. And uh, the other choice is to write on the web page slido slash rubes. And uh, you can also uh, vote there for the most interesting questions to be asked to Yannick. So that's all from me right now. And uh, now uh, I give the floor to Yannick. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, and thank you for organizing this event. And thank you for uh, showing up. Uh, uh, I will slightly change the organization thing that if you want to ask a question at any point, uh, feel free and just like shout it out at me. For example, if you disagree with something, what I'm saying. Uh, also, how many of you here don't understand Czech at all? Czech. Yeah. You don't speak Czech, Okay. Uh, there's going to be so many, so many moments where we can make fun of, you know, people who don't speak Czech. And then on the, on the, but everybody speaks English, right? Okay. So um, I was supposed to talk about. I want to translate. You want to translate? This is my great friend. Uh, we know each other for a long time, and um, he he remembers every single video I ever made. Is that correct? So whenever I say something, and I, I, he goes like, no, that's not true. On the second minute of the fifth video, you didn't say this. You said that. <laughs> that is true. So anyhow, so I was asked to talk about um, um, my recent work. One, one was um, Prague versus Crooks, where with my friend, partner, Markus Kruk, we were filming Crooked Taxi Drivers. But I don't like to talk about that anymore because, I don't know, I just left that topic. So I would love to talk about a show that is called Honest Guide. And I'm not an author of the show, I'm a co-author. The other one is uh, which is my partner. Not partner as in uh, we date together, but <coughs> this is my heterosexual coming out. I am not gay. And I mean, if people can do a coming out claiming they're gay, you know, why can I just say I'm not? Because uh, we have a huge gay fan base in Turkey. Uh, with our show so we I mean no seriously there's like these guys love us for some reason and it's only turkey um, okay so let's talk about the show uh, we really love Prague we love Brno too and um, <laughs> uh, Brno is really cool uh, you know what's the main reason there are no tourists here <laughs> um, and it's nice so the way our country promotes our city, uh, there are, or our country, there are two different uh, organizations. There's probably more, but two main ones. One is called Czech tourism and one is called proxy tourism. And in case of proxy tourism, they, they keep promoting the same stuff, or in my point of view, from my eyes, what I can see. So they keep telling tourists like, oh, come see the castle, come see the bridge. I think castle and the bridge in Prague are the two worst things you can see in Prague. Like, everybody knows it. It's like the Eiffel Tower. If you're going to Paris to see Eiffel Tower, don't go there. Go to Las Vegas and, you know, it's everything is lined up. You have the Eiffel Tower, you have Venice, you have Big Ben, you have everything in one hotel. So you don't need to travel around the world. Um, so this is how Prague City Tourism promotes Prague. I'll be walking around, you don't mind, right? So I can actually see what I'm showing you. Okay, so this is uh, Prague.eu. That's, that's a website that you know, helps you decide, for example, where to go eat. And if you click a button that says snacks, uh, KFC will pop up. Uh, three of them, actually. <laughs> so I don't think we should tell tourists, you know, come to Prague and eat at KFC. Like, you know there's KFC in Prague, but you know, we don't need to promote that. Uh, so we decided to change that with Honza, my partner. Yeah, uh, you know, not the gay. <laughs> Very single ladies, okay? <laughs> Same as me. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and originally, <laughs> originally the show was called Prague Guide. So Honza came up with the idea. 
and he said, hey, dude, after your crazy show with taxi drivers where, you know, they wanted to kill you, <laughs> uh, maybe we should do a show where you'll, your life will not be threatened. And I said, oh, that's a good idea. So he said, how about we make a video how to get from the Prague airport to the city center? And I said, okay. And we actually like wrote a script word by word. What am I supposed to say? You know, then we flew, went to, not flew, we went to the airport and we filmed the episode and Hansa edited it. It looked pretty good. And I just forgot about it. And then some of my um, colleagues watched the show on some meeting and they said, dude, we saw that new show. That's really good. Like you should start doing that show. It's, it's good. Um, so we started doing that. <laughs> okay. Um, can we turn off these lights or would that be a problem? Is somebody, can we turn off these lights or would that be a problem? Thank you. Yeah, is it better or not? Is it better or not? Yeah, okay. Thank you. Why is this picture here? Because uh, so people, when they run into me in Prague, especially tourists, they love the fact that they see me. Their first response is always, what are you doing here? <laughs> I live here. <laughs> And second one is when uh, somebody's introducing himself. No, I'll, I won't say that. Anyhow, so uh, I was really cold. This is last year, and I had to buy a hoodie uh, in one of the tourist uh, stands, you know. So I, I thought it was pretty funny that I look like a tourist in Prague on this picture and not the guy. Um, so today we'll be all about showing you um, um, our fans because I, we absolutely love them or the people that watch the show. So if you're one of them, uh, big thanks to you because I would not be able to do the work I do without the fact that you're watching. So thank you so much for that. And I would like to thank to all these people because uh, one of the most common questions from Czech audience is, uh, does, does your, like, tourists even watch your show? Like, yes, they actually do. Oh, and like, do they even like follow what you say? I'm like, yes, they do. So to prove it to you, and this is just samples. Uh, so in one episode, this is in Prague, Františkánská zahrada, my favorite garden where I had my first date. Uh, we showed, yeah, with a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Back then. <laughs> and so we showed to you where to eat, uh, was that? Yeah, where to eat for 100 crowns. The way we came up with that idea was that I was waiting for Honza um, on Wenceslav Square, and he said, oh, I'll be 20 minutes late. So I said, okay, I'll stop in to have a coffee and Coke, which is what I drink. And the, just the Coke was 100 crowns. Uh, it was in one of the old tram coffee places in downtown Prague. And I'm like, holy shit, that's expensive. Uh, so we decided to find restaurants around city center where you can eat for 100 crowns. For example, if you buy chlebiček, uh, which is the only true Czech food because it has Czech in the name, chlebiček, you know. <laughs> so, so we bought these and avalanche just happened. So these are all pictures from our fans and I absolutely love it. I adore it. it there's nothing that would make me happier. And, Look at the variety of people who they are, you know, so sometimes people tell us, oh, it's only backpackers watching your videos, you know, it's only poor people from like poor countries. I'm like, that's not true. I just ran into two Americans just on the way to here. So, uh, so yeah, we absolutely love these guys. This guy, I think this couple literally like followed every single tip we gave them. Then we did this super crazy video where um, the way we come up with ideas for, for videos is we just like meet up in the morning and we just say, let's film something. And we were walking past my elementary school, which is uh, in downtown Prague. And I saw a sign that said, open to public, which most elementary cafeterias are. So I figured, huh, let's give it a shot. You know, I haven't been in this building for 10 years. And it was super tricky. It was only in Czech. You had to go through one door, down the stairs, through another door. There was no entry sign, another door. Then you have to ring the bell. Somebody will show up. She will ask you in Czech, what do you want? He'll say, well, I want some food. Then she'll like tell you what they have on the menu. Two choices. You have to pay in crown, specific number. So we did that. And, and I thought to myself, no tourist will ever be able to go through this hassle. Well, boy, was I wrong. So, so these two guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I honestly don't remember where they're from, but we can look up there. Can somebody read that? Mertal Pkots. I can't read that. My eyes are bad. So, so they sent it to me uh, on Instagram. And I, I, I replied to the guy. I, I was shocked. And I said, dude, but the food <laughs> looks disgusting. <laughs> I mean, you can't even tell what's what, you know? It's like, it's just like some food. And he replied... It's, it's, I don't know what this is. This is potatoes, but what the hell is this? It's not, uh, rice, <laughs> mozeček? What is mozeček though? Like, to je prostě, cabbage? 
cabbage and potatoes, a lovely Czech food. <laughs> and of course, at a school cafeteria, you wash it down with a small beer. But anyhow, so, uh, where, where, where was I going with this? Hmm. Uh, these two guys said it, oh yeah, and they, the guy said, it was the worst food I probably ever tasted, but the experience was absolutely amazing. You know, what we had to go through. And of course, um, it just started happening more and more. So here's a girl from Greece. Her food looks better. <laughs> Even though, that, isn't that too green? <laughs> uh, here's some dude. <laughs> and <laughs> if you think about this, that, you know, just random tourists come from all over the world into this school cafeteria. I'm imagining all the kids just like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, and of course, some Czechs, I shouldn't swear, right? Since I'm at university, I apologize. But it's in English, so nobody can really understand. Uh, uh, <laughs> Počkejte, já, já jsem ztratil nit, ale najdu ji. Mm. Jo, jo, uh, Czechs were complaining and saying, how can you send, you know, foreigners to, to our kids in school? Dangerous. And I was like, they're not. They're quite safe. I mean, look at them. Yeah, they're cute. This is somebody who posted on our Facebook <laughs> that they really love the food in Prague and they try to make it at home. So this is a, uh, this, these are dumplings, <laughs> according to somebody from Brazil. Is there anybody from Brazil here? Nobody from Brazil? Yeah, I guess it's not in EU, so not Erasmus. Um, yeah, so, so I really, I said, I think dumplings need some polishing. Uh, but I mean, he tried. Um, Pater Noster, Theo, best thing. You have them in Brno, all over the place. Uh, and so I was on YouTube and I found this video called Eastern European Elevator of Death. <laughs> and it was just a shot of the, the elevator just going up and down. And the guy, I don't think he even got on it. And it had like a million views. It was like five years old. I'm like, why would somebody watch Pater Nostel elevator, there's nothing special about it, you know? And then I went through the comments, and of course all the people are saying, like, this is unbelievable, you know, it's so dangerous. So I'm like, well, we gotta film this. So we went to um, one of the Pater Nosters, there's so many of them, there's even a website that shows where they are. They're illegal to, to uh, be made to build in European Union, but you can, if you have it already, you can, you know, preserve it. And I, I honestly don't know who's the creator of it, uh, like which country invented it, if somebody knows. Uh, but, uh, yes, so I send the people to the City Hall of Prague because the City Hall is open to public from like 9 to 6. So I tell people, go to Pater Noster uh, at the City Hall and boy, they did it again. Uh, this is from last week. Okay, so the episode is like, I don't know, maybe a year old. And this is from last week. And I was, there's a new bistro in the City Hall in Prague. And I could hear these like, yeah, they're like yanking around. So I went there and there was this group and uh, these girls were just so happy to see me. <laughs> and and this, this other girl, I first spoke to her and I said, hey, can I ask you, where did you find out about this place? Because I was wondering if maybe people already like passed the message on so they don't even know it's originally from us. And she said, oh, I don't know. We saw it on YouTube. Some guy told us about it. And then this girl <laughs> turned around and she's like, oh my God, it's you. <laughs> Uh, then the elevator broke down, this is, uh, but it's fixed already, and I love how the city, the city of Prague actually put it up a poster, uh, are you looking for the famous Pater Noster elevator? And they were kind enough to put there uh, an address of the nearest one that was still running. Uh, it was my idea. <laughs> but they executed the idea quite well. I would do it, I wouldn't put so much text there. See, people that work for like uh, state institutions, they tend to just write write, you know, emails and emails and text and text. And uh, this is an um, airport in Prague, uh, just some guys enjoying their meals. I kind of like that. This is Jidelna uh, Svetozor. These are just some samples. I wanted to say something about the airport. I hate the fact that airports are expensive. There's no reason for that. It's the only public space where you actually pay to use it, right? If you fly from somewhere to somewhere, part of the price of the ticket is that you pay a certain fee to the airport. So why, after you pay a fee to the airport, they charge you $5 for a beer or five euros for a can of Coke? I just don't understand that logic. And so I think it's retarded. And so there's only one restaurant. By the way, have you been to Brno Tuzane Airport? It's the coolest airport I've ever been to. There's, so I was flying from Brno to, to London, London. And so there's, these, there's this 
five glass doors next to each other, like literally one door, second door, third door, and it says gate one, gate two, gate three, gate. And they, but they all go to the same like sidewalk on the other side. And if there's a flight leaving from the airport, the whole building fills up with people because it only holds up like 200 people. That was pretty cool. But and you, like you park your car. I, I'm sorry if I'm making fun of Brno, but this is like the coolest airport. It was so cheap too, like to park there and everything. So yeah, airports. Uh, this is Svetozor, which is another cool place. This, and if you're Czechs, you understand it. If you're students and you've been here for a while, you may understand it as well. Uh, Czechs are really rude. We never smile. We're like, you know, we're, we're not all of us, obviously, but for example, um, bartenders at like really local uh, pubs, you know, they will give you some hell if, you, if, if they don't know you, if you're not a local, even the locals will be like, who are you? What are you looking for? So this is one of the most famous pubs in Prague. It's called Uhrocha, uh, by the Hippopotamus. It's right under the castle, next to the parliament. And I didn't even like say on the video where it is because I didn't want to send much to, too many tourists there. Uh, but I did say the name and I said, look, this is really local. You will have a hard time not only talking to the people here, but you will have a hard time you know, becoming friends with them. Well, this lady became friends very, very quick with the, with the bartender and she, so this is the bartender uh, or the, the guy behind, I don't know, the guy that pours the beer. Uh, so she said, Yannick, what are you talking about? It's the, it's the nicest guy in the world, you know, we had many beers and we talked and chit chatted. Uh, these are some tourists that I ran into at the Lokal, which is a pub. You have Lokal here as well in Brno and there's one in Prague that I uh, visit quite frequently. I actually received a phone call from Pilsner Urquell today. <laughs> the guy said, we would like to work with you. You mention our product quite often on your videos. And I said, let me correct you. I mention it every single video, not, not often. And he said, yes. <laughs> so, uh, so they were showing me all the points in the map that they, they uh, put it there just based on our um, suggestions for the show, from the show. This is my uh, favorite spot in Prague. This is... Um, um, so who here does not know what this is? Holy shit, that's amazing. So you all know what this is? Yes. <laughs> so I, three years ago I had no idea. I had no idea what this is. I was walking past it probably every day and I thought it's an exchange place. It's an exchange place that charges 0% commission. So it's really cool that there's an exchange place on the biggest square in, in or the, the main square in, in Prague that, you know, will be fair. But then you walk in and you realize that instead of 25 crowns for one euro, they'll give you 15. And they've been doing that for since ever. So I was thinking in my head, like, what do I do? How do I, you know, stop them from doing this? Because they are not breaking any law. It's absolutely legal. You can give a crown for one euro. If, if somebody will sign it, there you go. Uh, so I thought of an idea. Well, what about if I just stand in front of the place and tell every single tourist, look, this place will rip you off. Just there is a place that will not do it. And people quite often say, well, it's like comparing the price of a beer. You know, you can go to a restaurant or you can buy it in the supermarket. I don't think it's the same because here you're changing 100 euros. It's still the same money. And you can literally from this place, it's literally, I don't know, 200 meters. And if I'll tell you, look, if you just walk from there to there and you can save 50 euros, I do it, you know, like, and so we did many videos about it. In one, we, we were blocking the place sort of, and uh, we came up with a term called scam fee, where I don't know if we actually came up with it, but yeah, probably, uh, which is if you take a selfie, but with a scammer or, or a place that's a scam. And uh, once again, avalanche happened. So these people are all the people <laughs> taking pictures. And it just goes on and on and on and on and on <laughs> and on. And I just love it. Uh, there'll be more. But what I wanted to say is that every single person that wrote, that sent this to us either via message or posted it on, on our wall or they sent it to my Instagram or my, you know, whatever. I always write to them, well, but did you help some tourists? And they always say, yes. I took the picture and then, you know, I stood for a while and some, this one guy wrote to me, well, man, I had like 15 minutes. So I was standing in front of this uh, exchange place. I was like sending people away. I was helping them where to go. And then this guy is coming to the, towards the door and I like stop him and I tell him, dude, don't change your money here. And the guy said, what, man, I, I just wanted to look. I saw the, this place on a video. I want to actually do the same thing. <laughs> so, so they just switched. So this guy, oh, well, I'm just about to leave. Okay, so I'll take over, you know. <laughs> 
So that absolutely made me super happy. And uh, this place, jo, promiň, já ti uhejbám ze záběru furt, veď. Sorry, nezlob se. Uh, tak asi sednu. Uh, so this place, we actually knew their uh, daily revenues because they uh, printed out and they put it on the uh, nástěnka, they put it on the board. So I would always take a picture of it. They also put their passwords to their, to their administration on their uh, monitors. I don't know why they do it. Uh, but we did not go that far. Uh, so let's just flip through these. Awesome. We, we, we're trying to make this place more famous than the astronomical clock in Prague. <laughs> Look how happy they are. You know? <laughs> it's, the, it's the place that will literally, literally cheat you so badly. This guy. <laughs> Can you imagine working in that place and like this is happening in front of your store? Yeah, I actually did get some, uh, if, if you're curious, the, the, there's this one girl that, was, that works there and she said that uh, she will charge me for her doctor because uh, people are going in and they're, they're talking to her. Uh, yeah, I said sorry. This is Gandalf. <laughs> he made it all the way from Zealand. Okay. 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 Um, so we do the show... Um, so it was originally called the Prague Guide, and then, or Honest Prague Guide, and then my friend Adam Gebrian, which is an architect, he said, well, if you only, if, if the show will be called Prague Guide, you can only do it in Prague, you know, you can't go to Brno, you can go, or you can't go to other countries. And I said, you're right, well, what do we do about it? And he said, well, just rename it to Honest Guide. So we did. We did a couple cities abroad. We did uh, Helsinki, Tampere, uh, Bratislava, that's not really abroad, um, Innsbruck, uh, New York, uh, and so on. But the funny thing is that people already like the brand Honest Guide so much that they look that term up in YouTube search with cities that we have not even covered. So this is just ABC. So they look for Amsterdam, Athens, you know, Budapest, Berlin, Barcelona, Germany, Dublin. So um, there is a demand that we need to fulfill quite soon. They also look for Honest Guide beer, which, believe it or not, we're at number 100 episode now with the show. And so far, we have not made an episode about uh, beer, which is funny. <laughs> Nor about wheat. Um, yes, one more thing. So, uh, there are official tour guides in Prague, and I came across one woman that we were giving interview to a Brazilian TV, to some uh, traveling TV show. And she was guiding them around Czech Republic, and she said, look, in the interview, do not mention bad things about our country. And I said, what are you talking about? And she said, well, like, I know you, you do that exchange place, you know, don't, don't talk about it, because then people will not come here, and they will think that we're thieves. Everybody knows about it. I'm like, I said, that's not true. If everybody knew about it, people wouldn't go there. And... And I just got really upset with her because I, I thought, like, this is not fair, you know, like, it's our responsibility if we lure the people in, into our country, if we, you know, spend, holy moly, 500 million crowns a year to, to get tourists into the country, then we have to take care of them, sort of. Not, not take care of them, but we should at least warn them, like, look, if you step there, it will hurt you. Um, and I think she wasn't right, and I have proof of that. And this is the latest episodes, there's a comment. I've never been... And this is about, we're chasing down some guys on the street about changing money. Uh, it makes me want to visit alone. So just, this, this guy only saw the bad video about Prague, and just that wanted him, made, make, made him want to visit Prague. And I've heard this story many, many times. I've been sitting with some people and they said, uh, you know, I was watching YouTube and then like, there was a video of you just getting beaten up by someone, and I really kind of liked it, so I watched more and more, and then I realized I've been watching it for four hours, and then I realized I was booking a ticket to Prague, and I'm like, good. <laughs> so through the bad stuff, we, we get to good stuff. Um, dark side of tourism. So, so far it's all like, so far it was like, ha ha ha, everything's good, everything's great, but tourism is a huge, massive problem. I don't know, is, is there anybody from Prague here? No? No. So, <clears throat> Prague 1, which is the city center, there's only 20,000 people that live in Prague 1. Compare that to 10 million tourists coming every year. So if you divide 10 million by 365, you'll get, you know, the average. But 
you can't count the average because in summer it's higher. So, so maybe at any given point there will be 50,000 tourists that are packed on that one same little spot. Uh, I mean, this picture proves it, that's, that's Easter. Not a single person is Czech from these people. And uh, it is a problem because with that comes other problems like these cars, for example. They're everywhere. It's like massive, these, these uh, wannabe historical cars. So they take up parking spots for people that want to live in the city and actually park their car. Uh, then this, these are stores. So, you know, like regular, regular convenience store you go to to buy your groceries. But suddenly these people figured out, well, why should I sell an orange for five crowns when there's tourists? They have the money, so I'll sell it for 90 crowns. So one orange in Prague costs 90 crowns. That's, what is that? Four euros. And with cigarettes, they sell. That's the only thing we can buzz their balls on because, I mean, they can sell an orange for a thousand crowns. So in Prague, they started doing this. They sell cigarettes only with a lighter. So you have to pay 150 crowns. Cigarettes usually cost around 80 or 90 crowns, and they have a stamp, so they can only be sold at the price that is on the um, stamp or collect, whatever it's called. So yeah, that's, that's what they're doing. And this is last but not least, uh, my favorite exchange place, another one that gives you like 17 crowns. So whenever I walk around, I just close it. <laughs> I just thought this like, whenever I talk to the mayor and she goes, I can't do anything about it. I can't just shut them down. I'm like always, oh, you can. <laughs> and, and the best part is always that the guy that's sitting there, he's just like on his phone, you know, playing Angry Birds or something. And I walk by, I sort of sneak in and he's like, mm -hmm. and, and I just shut the door and he's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> he just, they just, they just don't care. And uh, yeah, Hansa. Yeah, Hansa's not here. And that's it. <laughs> so now is the time when you can argue with me or ask questions or anything. Was I too fast? Nah, doesn't matter. We can talk. I'd, I'd rather prefer if you talk. And um, if you'll say something, why don't you say where you're from so we have an idea, or I have an idea. Yeah? Ah, okay. Okay. You want to hear a best joke about Berna? <laughs> yeah? Nah. <laughs> I'll tell you later. Thank you, Yannick, for your presentation. So now there is a time for your questions, but I will start with one question. Mm -hmm. uh, can you choose what will be the next video about? Or uh, do you have uh, some people around you and they told you no, you just, will make a video about No, it's just me and Honza and we can decide whatever we want to do. Mm -hmm. It's only, 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 only you. We had, I mean, we had, we had uh, somebody called Dramaturg uh, Martin Krušina, which is a guy who used to work for Stream.cz. Uh, we all used to work for Stream.cz, but then uh, Stream died. Um, and uh, it was a guy who was helping us sometimes to build the story. So, okay, thank you. So, that's your... What do you think about Uber? <laughs> <laughs> uh, now that, that it's only you, so do you have any questions? If you're shy, of course, you can write it here. Uh, which is boring. <laughs> uh, she just shout it out. So, okay. Uh, On the last presentation I had, people were too shy to ask questions, so I had a chlebiček. So I said, ah, whoever asks a question will get a chlebiček. <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> that was in Prague. <laughs> There's an English word for chlebiček? Uh, well, English word for chlebiček would be open-faced sandwich, but it's not. It's chlebiček. <laughs> I mean, we agree on that, right? We did an episode of how to make chlebičky. I don't know if you saw that. And I made Hansa be in front of the camera to make the chlebičky. And he was the coolest. He said, well, and this is uh, bramborový salát. Hm, I have no idea how to translate <laughs> bramborový salát to English. I was like, uh, maybe potato salad? <laughs> but we didn't know how to translate vlašský salát. Because we don't even know what's in Vlašský salát. <laughs> we, we actually had this discussion last night over a beer. What is in Vlašský salát? You, know? you don't want to know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay, if you don't have any questions, uh, I will start with questions from Slido. Uh, so, the first one. Hi, Yannick, what about to come to Brno? I don't know where to ty vidíš jenom ty, only you see the questions. Ah, oh, only I see. Sorry. Promiň, promiň, tak já ho read it. Kde to je ukaž? Promiň. Jde to v pohodě? Jde, počkej, a tady se to, jo, takhle, aha. Ne, čas, read it. Now is the part okay. where I'm supposed to entertain. No? Okay, good. Okay, so I will choose another one. So what do you think about Uber? And what do you think about City Brno being so much against this company? Uh -huh. 
I don't think it really matters what I think about Uber. I, I use it as well as I use uh, Liftago, which is the Czech service. And uh, I think it's absolutely bizarre and it just shows the uh, absurdity of our country that one city will allow something and the other uh, doesn't. I don't, think, I don't think the mayor of Prague will, will um, like ban Uber from operating now because it's just before the elections. But, it's, but on the other hand, it's absolutely amazing that a company can operate by, and, and violating many, many laws. And then, I don't, I don't know if you're really familiar with what's going on, but so Uber is breaking many laws. There's like 11 things that they're not compiling with the law. And then Andrei Babish, which is our prime minister, steps in and he says, well, okay, so you got to get this and this, and then you can like run your service. Basically, he's saying you can only break certain parts of the law. It's absolutely bizarre. Like I'm really, I've, I've been working on this topic for three years, so I kind of know what I'm talking about. But he's like the god, you know. <laughs> oh, I'm Andrei Babish. I'll, I'll, you'll do what I'll say. <laughs> I think the import of, of Slovak politicians to Czech Republic is really bad. <laughs> oh, for you foreigners, we have a Slovak prime minister and Slovak mayor of Prague. I don't know. There's a question. Perfect. No, I'm pointing at you. <laughs> So, wait, please, we will give you a microphone. <laughs> to, a to zakřičíš, ne? Nezakřičíš to? Jo, I'm sorry, I, I said you can shout it out. <laughs> and Thanks. Uh, and uh, what about the Uber? It's not only a problem with Czech Republic, since the last week it's forbid forbidden in uh, Bratislava also. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> we also don't like our politicians. I'm from Slovakia. Jo, to jsi ze Slovenska, jsi mohl po slovensky hovorit. No, no. I always say I always say that with Uber and taxi drivers, it's like so. I work for the biggest internet company in Czech Republic, which is Seznam, and they have this big mail server. Like many people have uh, their email inboxes on Seznam. So I say it's like if the postman would start to protest against email. You know, imagine the Czech post office workers marching around our office, like stop the email. We want to deliver regular mail. <laughs> is there any taxi drivers? No. So, any other questions? Yeah. We see you. Oh, you have to wait for the microphone. <coughs> oh. Oh. Uh, so, I think in your uh, last uh, live stream video, you said that you are going to make a video from Rolling Stones concert. <laughs> you watch our live streams. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I always hope nobody watches that stuff. <laughs> It's like when I'm drunk in the kitchen, it's like live streaming. <laughs> okay, yeah. Rolling Stones concert, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, and so I would like to ask, how is, going, how is that going to look like? Are you going to chase like fake tickets cameras around the... No, 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 no. So the reason I'm going to do that is, um, in 1990 was the first concert of Rolling Stones in Prague. And, uh, longer answer. You'll, 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 at the end, it has a punchline. Um, so when I first started making videos 10, 12 years ago, I, I did something called Noise Brothers, okay, where I was making funny jokes online, and one of the jokes was I was pretending, I was basically just lying to people. We were, you know, making prank videos and stuff like that. And one of the pranks was that I was pretending to be MTV reporter, and I was making fun of Czech celebrities. Well, little did I know, my dad was doing the same thing, except in 1990. My dad used to work for Czech TV, and he was working in the like, musical department for Czech TV. And he called up uh, people working for Rolling Stones and he said, look, Rolling Stones are going to have concert in Prague. But guess what? Nobody knows them here. We were living during, in communism for 30 years. You know, Nobody knows who Rolling Stones are. So if you want somebody to come to the concert, you have to let us film an interview with Mick Jagger. So believe it or not, my dad uh, in 1990 was doing an interview with Mick Jagger. So, so this will be uh, the joke in the video that me and Hansa will say, well, we really want to get to Mick Jagger, right? But how do we do that? And we'll put it in search on YouTube, like interview Mick Jagger Prague, and we'll find my dad's video <laughs> where my dad is teaching Mick Jagger how to say the stones are rolling onto Prague. So that's the most valuable video there is in our family. <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> so no, no scams about Rolling Stones. I'm right behind you. Hi, I'm from here, and I just wanted to ask, what is your favorite spot in Brno, or maybe hidden one? Uh, I don't think I have a. Oh yeah, there's uh, this um, coffee place called Pola, which is really cool. Menu se Pola? Yeah, right, right nearby the, the villa. And I've never been to to Villa Tugendhat, which I really lo I'm looking forward to. No, I'll, the whole city is pretty cool. If I compare it to Prague. 
just by walking from the train station to, uh, the, to the square, and it's like locals. It's unimaginable in Prague. If you walk in the city center, you don't, you don't come across locals. So I kind of like that about Brno. Don't, don't get too many tourists here. I don't know if it's a now. Yeah. Right. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm from Ukraine. Uh -huh. uh, have you ever been in Kiev? Yes, I've been to Kiev. I have a scarf here from Kiev. Oh, right. that's that's how Ukraine is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I have a question. I was in I was in Bratislava Hospital in Kiev. Bratislavska nemocnica in Kiev. That is strange. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cool story. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so I was just thinking, like, you showed the picture with some person pointing, like. Um, Places on the map which you advise. So, have you ever thought about making um, like app for mobile phone, like by you, like TripAdvisor or like Foursquare, like app that you created? No, we did not because we ourselves we use uh, Google and stuff like that. So, I think I, I don't really know how to work with that. But if somebody would like create the map and maybe share it, then we'll be happy to share it further on. But we never did that. I, but you know what? It's funny coming across people in the city and sometimes they have like handwritten stuff from our videos. So just today, uh, in the center, a woman came to me and, and she had pieces of papers with written addresses and places from so our videos. So maybe you should think about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. Thank you. So, so in Kiev, huh, I, was, I was staying at this hotel and my friend said, no, there has to be a terrace on the roof. So we went up to the roof. Uh, the vodka is really cheap in Kiev, so, so we were not sober and there's, there was this huge glass door and I told my friend, it looks unlocked and he said, yeah, just push it harder. So I did push it harder and it did went through my hand and I had to pay 25 euros bribe to this old woman that stitched me up. And then when I came back to Prague and I showed it to, uh, to a doctor, I immediately went to a doctor. He looked at it and he said, whoa, where, were, where, where did they do that? And I said, in Ukraine, in Kiev. He was like, well, you only use that to, to stitch up dead bodies. <laughs> but he said, but he said, they did a good job though. Like, they, it, it's gonna hurt when I pull it out, but it's, it's a good job. <laughs> I love Ukraine, absolutely love it. I drove all the way from Prague to Odessa in a car. It was a lot of fun. I don't see you, I'm sorry. Oh, there. Uh, have you ever received uh, threats like uh, when you expose these mafias and this, like the taxi drivers and uh, I saw one video of that monks also of which you did, of you exposed. Have you ever received threats from these? If there were ever threats against me? Yeah. Mm, no, not, not, not many. <laughs> <laughs> there are some. Uh, but nothing, nothing serious. I mean, yes, they'll shout out something on the street, but it's nothing. And, so, and, uh, and the police is also taking action, like whenever you report these cases ab about like fake ex uh, currency exchange and all these stuff. So police also is uh, like taking action in their- If uh, police gets involved is your question? Or yeah, 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 like it's t uh, does it take action immediately or um, it depends. Like, for example, the, the series that I was doing before, which was called Progress Crooks, and we were um, showing taxi drivers that were uh, cheating tourists. Uh, the, the secret police, not secret police, but um, <laughs> how do you say, criminal uh, criminal police. They were actually doing the same stuff as we were, and they got seven of these taxi drivers to court. So now seven of these taxi drivers are facing serious jail time. So sometimes the police does get involved. Mm -hmm. And uh, it would be great if you can visit uh, India also and make a video in Delhi. I'm looking forward to that. I really am. In India is on my list. <laughs> Thank you. So, okay, any other questions from you? No, so we can continue with questions from Slido. <laughs> Most liking question is, what about future on stream without Lukas Zahor? Uh, I guess we have to be careful. This is a very specific question. Uh, that used to be a company I used to work for, stream.cz, and that used to be my boss. Thanks to him, I was able to create everything in the past 10 years. He was the best boss in the universe. And uh, he left, and so I'm not on stream anymore. There's other people running it now, and I don't watch it, I don't follow it, I don't care. Oh shit, this is gonna be stored somewhere, and, and this part needs to be cut out. I still work for Sesnum. Sesnum is awesome. I love Sesnum. 
<laughs> I do. I mean, I seriously do. It's a great company. And I'm, I'm, you know, I mean, they let me do these videos. That's pretty crazy, right? I wonder what my contract says in the job description. Is it hang around with Hansa and film something. <laughs> Uh, okay. I did not read my contract. And then in the beginning I talked about Prague versus Crooks mm -hmm. and that, that uh, you are a creator. And we have a question. Why did you not continue with Prague versus Crooks? Uh, I don't know if I'm making Prague a better place. You didn't read the rest of the question. <laughs> <laughs> um, we did not continue because uh, it took, and thanks to Lukas Zahos, my previous boss, we were able to work on that series for two years. So two years that was uh, like we really were focused on one, one certain topic with, with Marcus. And um, I don't know, there was not much else to show. I mean, on the show we showed that taxi drivers are ripping off people, that they're organized, that they work together, that there's somebody at the city hall helping them. And at the end, you know, what else do you show? I mean, yes, I could have made an episode show saying they actually got to court, but uh, I just didn't feel like it. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And, uh, <laughs> next question. What train station has the worst smell? Frank or Bernard? <laughs> um, so for people who didn't see this, I did two uh, Czech uh, videos about um, Brno main train station and Prague uh, main train station. And they were only in Czech, they're not in English. Uh, so I guess you're referring to these videos. Uh, Prague definitely had a worse smell uh, in those tunnels. And Brno did cost me more money because people were just stopping me and begging for money. <laughs> Uh, but um, yeah, I think the, both both these places have the same problem that we're just ignoring it. That we just uh, since since we go through those places so many times, you just tend to like you know not see it and just sort of go through. Actually, the the director of the company that is uh, I, get, I I don't want to say stationed at a station, but that takes care of uh, Prague main train station. He wrote to me today that he wants to talk to me about how they can clean part of the staircases at the Prague main train station. I felt like telling him, you do realize it's like the smallest problem from the video. <laughs> so, okay, there's a question from the public. No, no, no. Hi, um, I'm from Slovakia and I wanted to ask what is the biggest scam you ever came across to when traveling and where was that? Where they ripped you off the most? Well, you know what's the idea behind a scam? That you sort of don't know that you were scammed. So I honestly don't know. I remember in, in, uh, in Israel and in Jerusalem, I went to some restaurant. They just kept bringing food and they just kept bringing it. And then the bill was just like outrageous. Uh, but I just, I guess, paid it. Um, I don't know. They're like the worst ones are in Prague. In Slovakia, you have taxi drivers at the main train station that will drive you down the street for 25 euros. I love those. <laughs> and they'll tell you, they're like, 25 euros. And, and they can legally do that, I guess, right? They, they have like, there's no limit to the price. But you know, Uber for five euros, you can go from Bratislava to Košice. <laughs> Košice is at the other part of Slovakia. Okay, perfect. Any other question? No. So back to the Slido. So, are you hitting the city tonight? <laughs> Just drink and pick up some Pick chicks. up some chicks? <laughs> My feminist mother would kill you. <laughs> um, no, I'm not picking up chicks and I'm actually not hitting the city. I'm hitting Prague. I'm taking a train back home. Sorry. Why are you not for a night? Why am I not for the <laughs> night? Because tomorrow I'm going to Nimburg yeah, yeah, to have a presentation week. there. I just drive around or go around the country and do presentations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get so picky. This week you were in other university in the Czech Republic. And I was two days ago, I was at Vosha A and my dad was there, which was the funniest part. He was just sitting there with his little, you know, stick. <laughs> I was going to make a joke and I forgot about it. I was going to say, you know, my dad is here today. The reason is he never saw what I do for a living. And he always asks me when I get home. So I brought him here so he will see what I do. But I forgot about that joke. I said, no. Okay, next is, uh, will you go to politics on future? No, but I, I'm, I, I, may, I may get involved in what's going on now in Prague because uh, the election is coming up and there's some uh, dirty stuff going on in terms of uh, uh, dirty marketing stuff that I don't like and I, I may just want to get involved. 
but no politics. Okay, next question is, hi, are there any movements to encourage law changes for more strict restriction for scammers? Money exchange places, yep. would you start <coughs> one? <coughs> if not, uh, like <laughs> movements. The movement should be called the state. Uh, yes, the, the, the law about exchange places in Czech Republic will change that you will be able to get the money back within two hours. A uh, couple of politicians are working on that. The government said no to the first uh, reading or whatever. I don't really understand that, but, uh, but it will change. It will happen. It will take another many, many years. <laughs> so. And could you recommend it uh, as uh, any, any, any extraordinary non-touristic activity in Prague? Yes, uh, I can. I do, I do a show about it. It's called The Honest Guide. And if you watch <laughs> it, you'll find, you'll find many tips in, in there. Uh, I don't know. Would, would be specific, Mr. Anonymous. What are you looking for? No? Okay. <laughs> uh, extraordinary. I don't know. Sorry. So, okay. Do you have any questions from... Public? Yeah, we have one. Perfect. Ahoy. Hi. Ahoy. Yeah. You don't want the picture to be taken, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't like it either. <laughs> Stop taking pictures! <laughs> okay, I wanted to ask you uh, how you are like uh, searching for this a hidden place abroad like I mean when you were doing it about Prague you you know this mm -hmm. place before or maybe some friends said you so how you are doing it abroad well we only did a couple cities we only did uh, Helsinki well, I mentioned them already so the way we do it is we always get in touch with the locals and we never really do the episodes from abroad by saying like hey I'm local from Helsinki I'm not it was my first time visit there so we sort of let the viewer discover the city with us and of course we're not the type of travelers that I was just in Barcelona two times in the past months and I would never ever go to see La Sagrada Familia. Like there's no point of doing that to me. So we're, we're the type of travelers looking for, for, you know, local pubs or stuff like that. But yes, locals help us, friends that have been there help us. Uh, so it's not like we go to TripAdvisor and search for, you know, top hidden spots on TripAdvisor. Thank you. Now you can take the picture. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was yeah. Last year, I'm sorry. You can tell that I, I, it may sound funny that I don't like a picture of me being taken or being on pictures because if you look at all the episodes that are published of the show Honest Guide, if there's if my face is not in the thumbnail, then I was the one publishing the episode because I never put my face in the thumbnail and Honza is the asshole one who always puts my face there. Well, hi. Uh, I kind of here, up here. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I kind of have a follow-up question, I guess. Uh, would you, do you have any like future plans about the Honest Guide that you could tell us? I mean, uh, I'd love to see it like uh, go global, for example. That you could uh, like, if you go places, you could search the Honest Guide of that place, and maybe you know people would contribute there. Because you said uh, because you weren't local, uh, you couldn't like tell us everything. So, have you thought about that? So just going global, more global. Yeah. Uh, well, we did try it with these couple episodes, and uh, we may, I don't know. We're actually planning to go to Kiev uh, very soon because we were contact, uh, contacted by Kiev uh, City Tourism. Uh, I think we would only do that if the cities will pay it, to be completely honest. And that's, that's one of the partnerships we uh, do. Uh, we did many others, if you're curious, I'll tell you. Uh, because we cannot partner up with a certain restaurant to ask for uh, promotion, we, that would just break the of the show. But if, uh, I don't know, if uh, Athens will ask us, can you come to Greece and do a show about Athens? Or if Greece will say, can you uh, come to Greece and maybe film something, we would love to. But it does cost time and money and it is our work to do it. No, I'm also, we, we don't like traveling that much, to be honest. <laughs> Okay, thank you. And uh, do you cooperate with Prague City Tourism or with Czech Tourism <coughs> or not? We, we do. We actually, the, the Brno episode we did, uh, Christmas Markets, was in cooperation uh, with Czech Tourism. And we only cooperate if it matches what we want to do. So when, when Czech Tourism came and they said, look, we want to promote Brno Christmas Markets, I said, that's the best idea because they're awesome. Uh, and the other episodes we did was, uh, in partnerships, was uh, Study in the Czech Republic 
which was uh, partially paid by Study In, the organization that lures you students, uh, expats, to, to study here. And uh, last but not least was Recola, the Pink Bikes, was uh, uh, supported, supported by, by Recola. Mm -hmm. Thank you. They're not rich. <laughs> But nothing else you saw on the show. We always that's we, we try to be very honest with this. If we if we get paid for something, we always say that. So when I I'm holding a beer or I'm saying something, we were not paid by that. It cannot it, it cannot be like a specific brand or specific one place. Okay. Does that make sense? No. <laughs> Hello, I'm from Brno. Uh, tomorrow I would. I like said to say, say country where you're from. Okay. <laughs> Uh, tomorrow I would like to travel to Bratislava. Will you give me some money? No, I, I'm just kidding, of course. Uh, I would like to ask you that in one episode you parked like your motorbike somewhere on square and then you received a fine uh, and okay. you sent it to uh, Spravni Řízeň. Yes. I don't know how to say it in Czech. Never, never got any... And I did never even got a letter. Nothing? No, nothing. Uh, lol. <laughs> okay, thank you. I got, a, I got my scooter booted in Prague. I, I ride a red Vespa. And I got a boot on my scooter. And when the cop came, I, I said, I want to, you know, I don't want to pay the ticket. I, I disagree with that. And uh, so the question was, if I ever received like a fine, I never did. It's bizarre that they boot scooters. It's a tiny little boot for my tiny little Vespa. <laughs> hey. Hey. Uh, uh, shalom. What up? <laughs> uh, yeah, so my question is How could I tell? Know. Every Jew will recognize a job. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we just keep going to each other in random places and speaking too many languages. Uh, so my question is, after 100 episodes, uh, what is yours and Honza's process uh, in coming up with new ideas for new content? Uh, do you guys also develop other content for your uh, media company mm -hmm. or is it just that? And uh, a second question is... Wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. So, uh, yes, we do create other video content. We work with Jindřich Šídlo, who's a, a famous Czech journalist. So we sometimes do... He has, like, a, not a talk show. He has a show of his own. So uh, if he want, needs a video for that, we will create that. Uh, and it's, it's a news agency, so, or it's a news channel. So we'll, we sort of cooperate on that. Uh, yes, and there was other question also. No? Yes, uh, what is your process in... Oh, in the ideas? Man, like we just show up at work in the morning and we just come up with something. It's just to have fun <laughs> is, the, is the main goal, you know, so anything. And uh, Honza has a pretty funny and interesting uh, YouTube uh, channel of his oh, own. Oh, yeah. And there's a video of there uh, of you, I believe, oh. bleeding in Tel Aviv in, Tel Aviv, in yeah. a hotel, right? What yeah. happened there? Yeah. Hmm. See, I tend to get drunk when I travel, and um, <laughs> so in Kiev, it was the reason was cheap uh, alcohol, and in Tel Aviv, it was the reason was we showed up at a pub, and we ordered a beer, and the girl said, "Oh, it's 50 shekels or 100 shekels," which it's like crazy, right? Yeah, and I'm like, "What are you talking about?" And this guy next to me, he said, "Well, it's all you can drink. You just pay one beer, and then you can drink all night long." <laughs> and I'm like, "Really?" So I, I did the math in my head. I'm like, well, how many beers do I have to drink to, to get the money back? Eight. Okay, so by the, by the tenth beer, I was doing some stupid things. And because Honza, so he walks around with his stupid little camera and he keeps like video blogging for his YouTube channel, you know. So I wanted to make some show. If you point a camera at me, I start doing weird stuff, you know. So there was this big recycling bin. I climbed up on it and I just fell down. <laughs> I texted my mom the next day. I said, Mom, I'm bleeding, I'm spitting blood, and there's blood coming from my nose. I fell on my head last night. Uh, help, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Can you ask a doctor in Prague? And she just replied back. <laughs> she said, if you're going to start vomiting, go to the hospital. Also tell Honza to wake you up every two hours at night when you sleep. <laughs> oh, okay. But tell him if it's great. So it's <laughs> almost similar, right? <laughs> okay, any other question? No? Okay, back to the Slido. Yeah, how is make a Hi, and I got about to come to Brno more often. Remember, you haven't found <laughs> Super Panda Circus, and uh, we have 
randomly new one, whiskey bar that doesn't exist. I will try to come more often, I promise. And uh, yes, we actually, we did find the Super Panda Circus, but when we asked the person looking for it, we found that that was the funny part of not showing it, because that was the... Barkerina exists and I don't have to eat It's from the day. A whiskey bar that doesn't exist. Yeah. It's okay. Uh, how did you learn English? Yo, I have... Uh, I have <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, mom, mom, uh, I have family in uh, New Jersey and uh, it's my dad's sister and she uh, I, I would visit I guess every summer and I used to watch a lot of South Park and my mom uh, my mom translated Jesus Christ Superstar the musical from uh, English to Czech so I can I know all the songs because I was a little kid sitting you know and she was why should I die yeah. <laughs> So my English is limited to words that were used in Jesus Christ Superstar. <laughs> also, uh, you may have noticed that on one of the episodes I talk about Christmas, and I don't say Christmas, but I say Christmas. Uh, so I asked my cousins, I said, I played them the video, I said, why do I say Christmas instead of Christmas? I mean, you're the ones who taught me English. And they started laughing and they said, well, m our mom actually says Christmas, so you got that word from her. <laughs> Does that make sense? Okay. How did you learn English? Too? I, don't know. I had <laughs> always bad echo, um, not that. You have perfect English. Mm. So, have you ever met Thank with you. treats by taxi drivers or Al Albanian mafia? According you said, to did you say you treats record? like uh, like treats like uh, sweets? <laughs> uh, Albanian mafia or other who did fake? No, I, I guess I I already answered that. Not too many. Okay. But they're they're mostly. The, I've never met any Albanians. It doesn't matter where they're from. Like we, I guess we all agree on that, right? I, I sort of like I did that one mistake where in one video, this guy we ask him where you're from, and he said Albany, uh, Albany, Albania. <laughs> Albany is the capital of New York State, uh, and so that's how you piss off two different countries because he was actually Romanian. So I got uh, a email from Albanian embassy saying. This guy is not Albanian, he's Romanian. You gotta pull down the video because he's putting a bad light on our country. And then I got an email from Romanians saying, you can't publish videos where you show Romanians. And I was like, okay. So it was, a, I, I just don't think nationalities matters. To me, it matters if the person is good or bad. Okay, the next one. Can you, <laughs> Can you give some tips for sparring crooks? For example, in Brno, for people who doesn't have such a public expo exposure as you have? Crooks, chasers. Uh, for example, in Brno, well, in Brno, you don't really have crooks. No, you do. You had Mr. Onderka, if I remember. <laughs> hmm. It's hard without the public exposure, but I don't know, make it fun. If you want to go after somebody who's bad, make it fun, make it watchable, make it likable. Uh, it's the hardest part. If you're chasing a, uh, someone who's boring. Mm -hmm. okay, and did you see some bullshit in Brno? Because I saw. If one, I saw some bullshit in Brno. Yeah, I, I saw the donut and. I, like, <laughs> did you see some bullshit in Brno? Yeah, I saw Brno. <laughs> <laughs> To je hrozný, jako ty, ty vtipy Praha Brno vlastně je to úplně debilní, ale já si myslím, že za to můžete vyjenout. Já jsem, já, jako pra, Brno je fakt super. The stupid things about Brno, right? Not bullshit. I, no, I'm no, not gonna talk bullshit about Brno. Brno is great. Your, your, your arrows to point, to point stuff in the city, they're in English. How many tourists come to Brno? In Prague it's 10 million and they're only in Czech. So there's a sign that says staroměstské náměstí, you know. No bloody tourist knows what a staromyestské náměstí is. There's so many cool things about Brno, seriously. Okay, so do you have some questions from public? Not right now. Okay, we will continue with Slido. As you grow your YouTube channel com community <laughs> to get many offers from brands to collaborate. collaborate yes, yes. Uh, what are your... The yeah, mostly they want a picture on Instagram, which I tell them I don't do that. Uh, and uh, I, it has to be a brand that I either use or like. And uh, on the YouTube channel, once again, it has to be uh, something that 
we were planning to do. So for example, right now, uh, the next video will be, um, we teamed up with MasterCard because we wanted to make an episode saying, you, know, you, don't, you, have to, you can avoid all this exchange money bullshit because you can just use your card. So we wanted to make that, then MasterCard came in and said, look, can you make an episode about paying with a uh, credit card in Prague? I'm like, awesome. So, so we only partner up if it matches. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one. Did you try Ask Airlines for showing your videos from an honest guide on planes leading to Prague? I would absolutely love to. Uh, we did try, I think, approaching uh, Czech Airlines. The problem is they don't like that we're also connected to the bad stuff. Uh, for some reason, companies, states, cities, they tend to only you know, show you the, the good stuff. They're like, oh, we can't show you the bad stuff. So I think Czech Airlines would not cooperate with us because I, I mentioned at the Prague airport that uh, there's bad stuff happening, you know. Mm -hmm. But I would love to. Oh man, I would love to uh, help out with uh, the videos that Czech Airlines have on their on their little screens. We actually, you can watch our honest guide on the RegioJet buses. It's there, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's there. So, one question from Yaya. What do you think about Czech mentality? What do you consider as positive and negative side? Where is our potential? Well, first of all, we should not generalize the whole country. There's 10 million people. Some of them are smiling, some of them are not. I do receive many, many messages, people complaining about Czechs from tourists. So they say, all of you are racists. And I reply, well, no, you're the one who's racist calling me a racist. That's bullshit. I am not racist. And I hate when somebody calls me that. Then all of you are homophobes. You know? People write this stuff. And then, so I always first I say, well, I apologize for what happened to you in Prague or in Czech. I'm really sorry. Where did it happen? Like, can I help you? I really try to be nice. And then these people just start, you know, poking at me. Like, it's your fault. You're showing, like, only the good stuff. And people were just, you know. And then I think in my head, like, if this person is acting like this to me, then maybe I understand he had, you know, a bad relation with, with someone else. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, my, my cousin from London, he came to Prague and he said, he came to my office and he said, it's so white here. And I said, yeah, they just painted the building. And he was like, no, there's only white people in Prague. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, you're, you're actually right. But it's, uh, I don't know, I think it's changing. And we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. But yeah, our mentality. No, mm no. What do you think about it? What is our mentality? Závidíme. Závist. To taky, no. To je pěkně na hlavu, Bohatství se určuje v Čechách podle toho, jaký máš auto, to je nejlepší. Tak ti budu závidět nejvíc, já žádný nemám. Já jezdím tramvají, to Tramvají. Sorry. I'm just okay, discussing no <laughs> something. Tram, that we like to ride trams. So, okay guys, so time passes so quickly, so do you have any questions? Yeah, we have there. One. Hi. Hi. I just wanted to ask if you... Where are you from? I'm from... Brno. Ah, okay. <laughs> but, uh, I was sure there's going to be uh, foreign students, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> but I've been living in abroad for three years. Okay. But I wanted to ask if you're still working with Adam Gabriel. Mm -hmm. Well, he's in Barcelona now, living there. So, okay. so I do work with him uh, in terms of I fly to Barcelona and drink okay. with him. <laughs> Still like uh, working for Stream? No, no. Well, yes. Okay. So I don't know. I can't tell. Ah, okay. <laughs> because he's still like publishing the the TV TV shows on Stream. So, if you're working for him, no. Are, well, those were pre pre taped Ah, okay. All right. So. That was my question, if you still... Okay. <laughs> camera? Yes, see, Adam Gabriel trabaja para stream. Is that for? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Any other questions? No. So, two more questions from Slido. What do you think about backpackers? Uh, people begging for people, money. Yeah. For money to fund your traveling. Uh, oh yeah, I hate when people do like funds to travel. I don't think you need money to travel. I, I, I traveled when I was a kid, I traveled without money. You can do that. I did a video about that. We, we hitchhiked to, to Paris. It was fun. 
So yeah, when there's like a Kickstarter campaign where people like, I want to fulfill my dream of flying around the world. Well, you know, go work, make money, and then do it. Like, don't I? I just don't like that. My personal opinion. Okay, and the last uh, question. I hope that it will be something positive. What do you watch on a YouTube? Uh, Honestly, only I think uh, John Oliver the uh, l l l last week tonight, and I used to watch Casey Neistat, but then he became famous, so I kind of like left that. Uh, hmm. Okay, and one question from me. Yes. Who inspire you? Who inspires me? Mm -hmm. My parents and my sister, my family. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also Lois Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> No, Kazma. Nah. <laughs> 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 Can I say this in Czech? I'm sorry. Kazma, jo. On vždycky chtěl být strašně jako hvězda, že jo. A já mám v telefonu furt uložený jako Kazma Leoš, protože já jsem vždycky říkal, že budeš jako Leoš. A myslím, že teď už mu to povedlo, ne? Že, že je slavnější než Leoš. Jo. Teď už zase ne? Aha, to jsem nevěděl. A to, a to vás nesledu. A to jsi byl první host vlastně Kazmy. Přesně tak, já jsem byl první host u Kazmy. Tehdy nás chtěla Veronika Žilková žalovat, protože jsem řekl něco hrozného. A to ona byla programová ředitelka streamu, ježiš, to byly časy. <laughs> OK, so that's all. Uh, thank you, Janek. And uh, thank you. We, we have no time left, so... Počkejte, ne, we do. We have to uh, wave at Honza. <laughs> Takže, prosím vás, musíte, uh, jo, you don't have to, but if you'd like to, you can just shout out to Honza something like, hey, Honza, or, you know, whatever. So I'll, I can send it to him, because he's not here. You probably noticed that, right? <laughs> Tak můžu, nevadí vám to? Are you okay with that? Yeah, yeah? okay. Tak jo, tak uh, ahoj Honzo, you just say ahoj Honzo, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's for you, Honzo. Tak jo. <laughs> that like didn't really work. Like, do you guys have problem with saying ahoj Honzo? No, just say no. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So, to all of you, thank you for coming to our discussion today and uh, thank you very much, uh, Yannick, for accepting our invitation to be here today. And thank you.